today. Welcome to our backyard. I'm Lauren and this is my friend Buddy. Whoa, whoa. whoa Buddy, you look like a safety superhero. And I see you've got your safety tool belt on too. Do you remember all the tools in our safety tool belt and how they help keep us safe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's okay. We'll review them together. Do you want to review them with us? Great. What is staying safe? And why is it so important anyway? <laughs> That's right, buddy. Staying safe means you're protected from danger or harm. When we're in safe situations, we feel happy, protected, confident, and loved. But when a situation is unsafe, we may feel confused, icky, hurt, or tricked. Everyone deserves to feel safe no matter what. And in order to stay safe, we use our safety tools and rely on help from our trusted adults or grown-up buddies. Now, let's explore the tools in Buddy's tool belt and see how they help keep us safe. <laughs> Whoa! Does anyone remember what this is? <laughs> yes! It's our trusted triangle. Your trusted triangle is made up of three or more grown-up buddies who you can talk to about anything, whether it's a fight with a friend, a bad dream, or a touch that doesn't make us feel quite right. At least one of the grown-up buddies in your trusted triangle should be someone outside of your family, like a teacher, a coach, or a neighbor. And they should all be old enough to drive a car in case of a safety situation. But what happens if one of your grown-up buddies is busy or doesn't hear what you're trying to tell them? What if one of your grown-up buddies hurts you? Yes, buddy, you go tell another grown-up buddy or trusted adult in your trusted triangle and keep telling until you get the two H's, heard and help. Very, very, very good. Let's see what other tools are in Buddy's safety tool belt. Look, it's our safety stop sign and I mean business voice tools. We use our safety stop sign anytime we feel unsafe. And our I mean business voice lets people know we are not messing around. Like this, stop, that's not safe. Remember to speak loud and use eye contact. Stop, that's not safe. Can you do that with me? Great job, but how do we know if a situation is safe or unsafe anyway? Yes, we use our TFA tool. T stands for think. First, we stop and listen to what our brain is thinking about a situation. Then we decide how the situation makes us feel. That's F. Based on what we think and how we feel, we know if the situation is safe or unsafe and we'll decide how to act. T, think, F, feel, A, if what you're thinking and how you're feeling tells you something is not quite right, you may decide to act and use your safety stop sign and I mean business voice to say, stop, that's not safe. 
and then tell a grown-up buddy in your trusted triangle. See? Our safety tools work together to keep us safe. If you're new to Safer Smarter Kids, don't worry. We go on all kinds of adventures together. You'll get plenty of practice using these safety tools. And we'll learn some new ones too. Like this one, our safety barometer. Can you say that with me? Barometer, barometer. Our safety barometer helps us figure out whether a situation is safe or unsafe. The barometer points to green when a situation is safe, yellow if you're not quite sure, and red when a situation is unsafe. Your safety barometer may change as you use your TFA to decide what you think and how you feel about a situation. If the barometer is yellow or red, you're in the danger zone and you will need to choose a safe action. Come on, let's go try it out. Bella, it is getting dark outside, and we need to get back home to your grandma. Buddy and I will walk home with you. <coughs> What's wrong, Buddy? <coughs> oh, you want to go outside the gate so we can walk Bella home, but you're not sure it's safe. I've got an idea. Why don't you use your safety barometer? Everyone has a safety barometer. It's a tool we use to measure how safe or unsafe a situation might be by helping us visualize how we're feeling. Right now, the barometer is pointing to yellow because you're not quite sure. Let's use our TFA to figure it out. You think leaving the yard is safe because Bella needs to get home before it gets dark outside and because I'm a grown-up buddy who will watch you. But you feel a little nervous because you're not supposed to go outside the gate without permission. And you're usually not allowed to leave the yard when the sun starts going down. I see your safety barometer is pointing red because you're feeling nervous and not quite right. This doesn't seem like the safest choice. How should you act, buddy? Good choice! Even though you're with me and I'm a grown-up buddy, you know it's against the rules to leave the yard without permission from your mom. Let's ask her if it's okay for you to come with me and walk Bella home. Your mom said it's okay? Great! Let's venture out into the neighborhood and get Bella home for dinner. Great job today, buddy. You used your safety barometer to help decide how you were feeling and then make a safe and smart choice. Remember friends, we use our TFA to help us think about how a situation makes us feel and then how we should act. Our safety barometer is a great way to visualize how things make us feel. Why did Buddy's safety barometer turn red when we went to walk Bella home? That's right, buddy, because even though I am a grown-up buddy and I'm even in Buddy's trusted triangle, he isn't supposed to leave the yard without his mom's permission. When he asked his mom, she said it was okay for Buddy to come with me to walk Bella home, so his safety barometer turned green. But what if his mom said no and Buddy decided to go anyway? What color would the barometer point to then? Right, you guys are so smart. 
the barometer would turn red because Buddy would know he's breaking an important safety rule. Can you think of another situation where you could use your safety barometer? How about if someone asked you to keep a secret that didn't make you feel so great? What color would your safety barometer turn then? That's right! Your safety barometer would point to red and remind you it's unsafe to keep a secret that makes you feel confused, icky, hurt, or tricked. When you're not sure if something is safe or unsafe, you can use your safety barometer and TFA no matter where you are. Remember, you don't need a real safety barometer to stay safe. You just take a moment to think about how a situation makes you feel and then act. Until next time, remember to make safer and smarter choices. See you soon. Oh, oh.